Hey what's going on guys, McSkillet here with another CSGO video and today I'm going to be doing another case unboxing video because I haven't done a case unboxing video in a while. So um, I've got like 150 cases here and we're going to be trying our luck. I've done some other case opening videos and they've all gone pretty poorly. I believe I've only, I've only gotten one knife from a case in my CSGO case unboxing career. And uh, it was a very bad knife too, it was only a Fountain Burial Forest which is like only 40 bucks. So um wasn't too satisfied with that, but we've got a ton of cases and keys here. 25 uh, CSGO Weapon Case 2s, 75 Chroma 2 cases, and uh, 25 Chroma 1 cases. Uh, the only reason I'm even opening these is because I feel like there's a higher chance of getting a knife from these. I know there's no actual like data on that, but I've seen so many more people get knives from the Chroma 1 case and the Chroma 2 case, and I have opened so many Chroma 2 cases and never gotten a knife from them, so I thought I'd actually try opening some Chroma 1s, which they have really terrible gun skins in them, but I don't know, I get kind of superstitious about this whole case opening thing, I don't know why, I don't think there, there's really um, a difference between those two cases when it comes to the chance to get a knife, but I just felt like getting those, why not? But um, then I've also got 25 shadow cases. Uh, shadow cases, they don't have too bad guns, but uh, I don't really like the shadow daggers too much, so I didn't get too many of them. So yeah, let's start on these chroma ones, I guess. And uh, yeah, oh, oh, wow. What bait? The very first case we go right past an Op Man of War, but Op Man of War is not worth too much anyway. Um, I have this game speed sped up a little bit just to make this video not too long. Alright, a purple. Alright, let's get into the third uh, case key. Chroma key. Yeah, all these skins are pretty bad, but the knives are the same as the Chroma 2, so they're pretty good. But uh, these, these skins don't sell for too much. So, um,. Yeah, dual bread is urban shock. Not too great. All right, we're getting a lot of purples. It looks like that's not too bad. I, I believe there's only like a 11% chance to get a purple or something. There's not really that high of a chance to even get a purple. And we already have three of those, so that's not too bad. And MP9 deadly poison, probably one of the most common skins in the game. Some more chroma cases. I think I've got like the oh come on come on oh, the bait the bait I've got like the volume off I think but uh, I don't think that matters too much I mean the noise is kind of annoying anyway, especially when it's sped up. It's like clink 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 I don't think it matters too much though. You just need the the video part, but uh, yeah some more cases here M249 system lock factory name and uh, if I have a whole bunch of blues and stuff, maybe I'll do like some trade-ups at the end of this video. See if we can maybe get up to a red or something nice. But uh, no pinks or anything yet. Chances for a pink are also pretty low. I think it's like 2% or a little bit higher than that, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, yeah, I don't seem to get too many pinks when I'm opening cases. I'm really hoping to get a knife from this video. That's all I'm really looking for. just want to see that, that gold little thing. Cause you know, it's a lot more exciting when you unbox a knife than when you like trade for one, to be honest. Like, even my, even my Falchion, uh, Forest DD pad, I was pretty excited when I got that. Alright. Doesn't look like these are much luckier than the Chroma 2s. Looks like I was wrong. Stat Track, Mac 10. Is that the first Stat Track soon we've gotten? We opened all of those cases and that was the first Stat Track one. It's so weird. Usually you get a, like at least some stat track blues, but I'm not seeing anything stat track go by. All right, some more chroma two or chroma ones. Maybe we should try clicking the key first. So chroma. Oh, never mind. I've already been clicking the keys first. What am I talking about? The cases first is what I meant. I'll try one like this if I can find the chroma. All right, I guess I have to type chroma first. Chroma case. All right. So many purples. Could probably almost do a pink trade up, yeah. Yeah, there's like a 1 in 200 chance of a knife, so 150 cases should give us a somewhat decent chance of getting a knife. If you guys didn't see, I had a video yesterday all about rarity and stuff. And, uh, yeah. The chances of getting, like, those blue gems and stuff almost non-existent, especially in a good condition. 
but uh, you can only get the chroma stuff from this case anyway so you can't get the case hardened knives but uh, the chroma knives are pretty nice though so I'm not going to complain if I get one of those unless it's like a gut knife rust code that's the ultimate troll knife I would be disappointed if I got that alright we got the grotto best skin in the game alright I'm just going to speed open these I'm tired of these chroma ones nope I don't have another Chroma 1 case. Alright, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just move on to the Chroma 2s. Maybe we'll be one case short for this video. I can maybe open one of the extra other cases or something. Elite build. Yeah. Chroma 2 is probably the case I've opened the most, and, uh, never get anything from this for some reason. The Falchion case is my luckiest case for some reason. I've gotten a knife from that, I've gotten both of the reds multiple times. I think there's a jack going over my house, not sure you guys can hear that. Alright, it's pretty much gone now. Uh, <clears throat> UMP Grand Prix, this is probably the cheapest purple skin because you can only get it field tested. I don't know why they did that, but you only get field tested versions of that. Okay, Elite Build. Not even a pink so far, but uh, this is pretty standard luck to be honest. Elite build. Come on, give me a knife. Marble fade. Nope, not a marble fade. I saw some video where someone unboxed a Karamba Doppler Sapphire Stat Track from a case, and they actually recorded it. That knife was worth like $4,000 at the time because it was right when it came out. Why am I only- I'm getting so many elite builds. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, more- more blues. So many blues here. We'll definitely be able to do some trade-ups. I got a lot of purples from the Chroma ones also. Yeah, I think it's good that I sped up the speed, because otherwise this would be a super long video. Come on, Gaben. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Come on. Uh... No, that's like well-worn, probably. Is, is it not even in my inventory or something? What just happened? Acquired? I'm like missing a page. Oh, here we go. Well-worn. I called it. Yeah, that's probably only worth like a couple bucks now. Not even too great. Honestly, nothing from the Chroma 2 case is worth too much anymore. I mean, the Hyper Beast used to be worth a lot, but then after the M4 nerf, everything went down in price for the M41S's. I know a lot of people thought it would go back up, but I don't personally think it's going to go back up because, I don't know, the M4A4 just seems to be a lot better now. And I, I used to use the M41S, but. The M4A4 just kills so much faster, it seems like, so, yeah. Come on, so many elite builds. Gotten one pink so far. Not on a great track. I mean, the chances of getting good stuff from these cases are really, really low, though. Let's try it, let's try opening up a shadow case. Just throw this in here. Shadow daggers. With my luck, I'd probably get nothing from the Chroma 2 case and then get, like, the worst Shadow Dagger. Because the Shadow Daggers are actually my least favorite knife. I just I just think they look kind of weird. They don't really look like selling to be in CSGO. I even like the Falcha knife a little more. I know a lot of people just trash the Falcha knife. I don't know why. I mean, I don't think it looks too bad. And it's got that really cool, like, rare animation. Especially if you have, like, a cool Falcha knife, like the one I have right here. Alright, back to the opening though. There's no falchion cases in this video because those skins have gone down in price a lot and falchion knives aren't worth very much so I'm really hoping for the ultimate case stream which is a Negev Man of War apparently. Maybe this like 2x speed or whatever is ruining my luck. Jeez, we're not even going buy stuff. I just realized that. That's the first kind of nice thing I've seen go by. Uh, goddamn. Come 
Pokemon given. So many blues. Yeah, again, these Chroma 2 cases just screwing me over. If you guys are, like, trying to, like, make profit on CSGO, I wouldn't ever suggest opening cases unless you've got, like, some crazy luck because I can tell you from opening, like, 300 plus cases, you basically never make your money back. Unless you, unless you unbox some, like, godly knife, then you can make it all back, but that's kind of what everyone prays for and it never really happens, so, uh, yeah. And that, it can also get really addicting when you're opening these. But I, I honestly just feel bad after I've opened a ton and don't get anything good. It's just like such a waste. But I, we're gonna get something good this case opening. I mean, 150 cases, we gotta at least get like a red or something. Stat Track Factory New Hyper Beast? That wouldn't be bad. Come on. Stat Track Factory New Hyper, Hyper Beast in this one right here. Oh. P50 balance. Almost the same thing. Okay, 5 7. I, I mean, I shouldn't even be like happy about getting that at this point. Let's see, how much is this even worth? <laughs> this is worth. Oh, it's going up in price. It's not even worth more than a key anymore, actually. It's worth 2 bucks and it's field tested. Wow. I don't know, is that the best? I think that's the best condition on the monkey business, too. Unless you can get minimal wear. But I think field test is the best, so. That skin's lost almost all of its value, apparently. Not even worth a key. <laughs> I got excited when I, I got it, too, because it's a pink. Very low odds of getting your money back opening these case arenas. Come on. My luck might be bad when opening these, but it's probably not as bad as Retchy, because I've watched... He's done so many case unboxing videos, I don't think I've ever even seen him get a red. Like, he, he's never gotten a knife or a red, even though he's done so many videos. Maybe he's gotten a red, I haven't seen every one, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't gotten a knife. At least when he was recording anytime recently. Come on, inventory button. Nope, that's not gonna work. For some reason, we are getting a lot of elite builds. Like, I feel like I'm getting that more than the other blues. Which isn't too bad, because it's like the most valuable blue from this case. Whoa, my game's glitched out. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on. I opened a hundred Chroma 2s straight in one of my other videos. We got a Battle Scarred M4 Hyper Beast, and that was about it, so, yeah. At least we didn't get the Neon Rider, because that thing's, like, worthless now. I mean, I kind of like the skin, though, but I guess just, since it's a Mac 10 skin, it doesn't really have too much value. So many blues. Maybe it's the speed. Maybe after we, like, do some more cases, I'll turn the speed back to the normal thing because I feel like it's affecting my luck or something alright, P251 wing shot this is a pretty nice P250 skin I'm not going to complain about that I'm just opening these cases in like random order now I haven't opened too many shadow cases because I wasn't really too interested in, in the knives Hopefully for the next case they actually release some new knife finishes. Cause I think it's cooler when they do that rather than bringing out like a whole new knife. Cause I think that I, th I don't think there's too many more knives they can do. Like when they're resulting in these like butt plug daggers, there there's probably not too many more knives they can make. Unless 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 you guys have some like cool knives you know of in real life that you think would fit in CS:GO, feel free to let me know in the comments. Or tell that's a valve. But I, th I think it would just be cool if they made some like new patterns for like the Crambit or the uh, Bayonet and all the knives already in the game. Just my idea. Alright, this is a very interesting skin. Let's take a look at that. It's kind of glitched out again. An M249 skin. Too bad the M249 is like useless because otherwise that's pretty, pretty interesting looking. 
the MP7 up, we got the Deagle, not sure what's worth more, but you know, maybe in the last case we'll get some crazy knife and make all of our money back, you never know with these cases, but yeah, I'm really just going for a knife, that's all I really want to get from these. Some guy in the comments in my last video said he spent like $1,500 and it's only gotten $300 back, which that doesn't sound very good. Let's try some of these, these old cases. I decided to open some of these because, I mean, there's really good stuff you can get in here. You can get the Blood in the Water, which is worth more than a lot of the new case stuff. You can get these skins, and you can get the 5-7 case iron, which for some reason is showing up stat track. I don't know why it's doing that. Probably because I have a bunch of stat track 5-7 case sergeants, but... Yeah, this, this isn't a bad case to open, honestly. I think some other guy did a video on this, and he said this case has, like, the highest chance to make your money back, so... Chroma, or what are these cases called? CSGO case 2s, I think. Not a bad case to be opening. CSGO weapon case 2. Very old case. A lot of these skins are actually going up in value. Oh, 5 stone case iron. Come on, come on, give me a good pattern. Oh, I could already see it. Now that's a trash pattern. Field tested. I should maybe just do a massive case opening of these. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool case to open, because you got the 5-7 case hardened for your purple. Which, you know, I like opening those, because you never know what pattern you'll get, and that can really affect the value on it. And, alright, Tech 9. Maybe we can do a 5-7 case hardened trade up. I mean, don't have too good odds to get a good 5-7 from that, though. Alright. Scar Crimson Web. Are any of these factor new? If I actually knew one of those, it's probably worth a good amount. Field tested. Yeah, it's pretty rare though. Especially for stat track. All Crimson Whip stuff is really rare factory new. And even more rare stat track factory new. Yeah, but I think if I do another case opening, when there's not a new case, I'll probably just open a bunch of those CSGO weapon case 2s. Because they seem like, it seems like a pretty good case to open. Feel better. I feel better opening those than the Chroma 2s, which seem to always screw me over. Dual I like these Duallys. Not a bad skin. And the Duallys aren't too bad anymore for the new update. Probably still not as good as like the 5.7, of course, though. But, uh, yeah, they're not too bad. It's kind of like random spray pattern, though, a bit. Oh. Ah, oh, that. Was that blue? It looked really blue. I don't know if. I think you can kind of see what it looks like. I don't know if if, we'll, if you go buy it, you see what you're gonna, what you would have gotten though. Not really sure on that. I know if you land on the five seven case hard and you get to see like what patterns on it, just based on the icon, which is sort of cool. But I don't know uh, if that always is true. And let's see, op worm god. That's the first op worm god I've gotten from this opening. Factory new. Usually get a ton of those. Alright, uh, let's open some more of these. Wow, this is taking a while to open all these cases up. So, we can do a lot of trade-ups for sure, guys. We have Man of War. I'm just gonna click, like, the first stuff I can see. Oh! Oh! Okay. Just inventory to Golden Coil, minimal wear. Alright. Much better than the Hyper Beast we got from the other video. How much is this worth? Alright, 50 bucks. I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I already have a Stat Track Factory new one, though, I think. Yeah, this, I got this that from a trade up. Trade ups are probably a little more profitable if you want to take a in game gamble. But uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. At least it's not like Battle Scarred, too. It's actually in good condition. If only the Chroma 2 cases could give me a knife, that would be awesome. Maybe we should try inventorying some more cases, that seemed to give us some good luck. Nope, okay, I failed, I failed so hard right there. Alright, I guess it's over. It kind of glitches out the game though when you do that. Yeah. I don't think it makes a difference, really. We already got a good, if we got one good skin so far, not too bad. I really just want to get a knife, though. I want to see that, like, little yellow icon, or just get a knife in general. We 
could get a knife from this. That would be like a classic knife. It'd be crazy if we got like a crimson web. All right, we can definitely do like a five seven K start in trade up. Be able to do a lot of trade ups. More shadow cases. So many cases in this video. Probably just search case here so I don't have to scroll through everything. Oops, we out of those or something. Case, what? All right, I don't know why my thing's being all glitchy when I try to search. I guess we'll just stick to opening them from here. We haven't landed on anything. The only good thing we got really was when I pressed the inventory button. Uh, yeah, let's do some more of these cases here. This is taking much longer than I thought it would. would. I'm not sure how long this video is being, but this is sure a lot of cases I'm opening here. Scar comes web. Get a lot of those. Let's open a shadow case. Oh, Sat Track Flux. Alright, Sat Track Pink. Required. Battle scarred. What? This skin is really weird how the condition works. It actually looks a little bit brighter when it's battle scarred. I know that's weird, but like it has like kind of a shell, I guess. I guess that like scrapes off and then it starts to get brighter. It's kind of weird how it works because the factory new one actually looks darker than that one there. Like here's the factory new one. It's really dark. Not really sure. I, I guess the factory new one's a little cleaner looking, of course, because it is factory new. And, uh, ooh, Stat Track P90 Cold Blooded. That's like 20 bucks, I believe. Hopefully it's, uh, FN. Required. Yeah. Come on. Alright, they seriously need to fix this so it's not so glitchy. Alright. That can trade up to a Stat Track Factory New Blood in the Water. Just need nine more of them. <laughs> yeah, this is a $20 skin. That's like half the price almost of that skin. You know, it's only a pink. Yeah, this is not a bad case to open. Because, you know, if you get any blues, you can try to trade up to a 5.7 case harden, which is always fun. And uh, you got a good chance of getting the 5.7 case harden in the first place. And it's not too expensive of a case, too. It's only like, I think, like 30 cents or 20 cents. So you don't have to spend too much extra. Chroma 2s, man, they just screw me over. Never get anything good from the Chroma 2s. All right, we're on our last couple of, we don't, we don't have too much left. Probably like 20 or 30 cases left, maybe a little more. It's taking quite a while, but uh, yeah, we this isn't going too bad. We got two stat track pinks and a a uh, red and a couple pinks, but uh, I really want a knife, that's what I want from this video. Come on, let's give me some like insane stat track, marble fade, karambit, or a butt plug. <laughs> oh, Galil AR Eco, minimal field testing. Let's see how much this is worth. We can definitely do, we can probably do a red trade up, so that would be kind of cool. If we don't get a Neon Rider, of course. Alright. We've gotten like a couple good skins from each case. I have that, for some reason I have one less Chroma 1 case than I was supposed to have. So this is only going to be a 149 case opening, so I'm sure you guys are going to be very disappointed in that. Unless I buy one more Chroma 1 case. Come on, Gaben. Give me those uh, stat track. I don't think anyone's gotten a good blue gem for the Shadow Daggers yet. So that would be very cool if I could get one of those. Ooh, another blue, or another pink. It's actually solid luck right here. I mean, it's a lot of pinks for sure. I almost do a trade up. Alright, we 
we've still got some more cases left. Stop glitching out. This is very glitchy when you're opening this many cases, it seems. Wow, this must this would have taken ages if I had this on the normal speed and I wasn't inventory budgeting some of these. Because this is taking a while just to do this normally. Alright. Almost done. Speed 50 high. We'll definitely be able to do some 5-7 case starting trade-ups, which is cool. I probably won't record all of it, or at least I won't put it all in the video. Jeez, another Galil AR. It's the only pink we're getting. We've gotten like three of those from the... We haven't gotten any of the other Chroma. Actually, we got some monkey businesses. I'm not sure what I'm on about. This is field tested. Field tested. Not bad, not bad. I'm getting lots of pinks. That's... I think there's only like a 3% or a 2% chance for a pink, which is actually kind of shocking, but yeah. You don't get too many pinks. Unless I unless what I was going off is wrong. But I feel like I saw some like study thing somewhere that said that. Double graphite. Alright, how many we've got we've got like we've got a solid amount of cases left. Some of these keys here are for trading though. So I'm just gonna be going off the cases. But uh, the main goal of this video is to get a knife, and I don't think that's going to happen. I would have preferred a knife over all these like pink and red skins. But we don't have too many cases left, but it's, it's still possible, it's still possible. Come on, Gaben. That knife dream. Got like two cases left here. It is not looking very good. Yeah, the three cases of Destiny. Open up the first one. I won't even inventory button it. Oh my god, another Galil AR Eco. We can definitely do a trade up at this point. Is it really field tested? They're all. Look at how many how many Galil Ecos have we got. We've got to do a Galil Eco count. We've got in four Galil Ecos, and there, are, three of them are field tested. One is well worn. It's not bad. Very eco friendly. All right, last Chroma two case. Give me that uh, M9 Sapphire stat track 0, 0.00 float value or an Agave Man of War. But uh, looks like we got one case left. And a uh, full blue stat track case hardened. Come on, come on. Oh, I lost X8. Let's see. Alright, I'm gonna buy one more Chroma 1 case just for you guys so I can open this last key. Alright, guys, I'm gonna open up the last Chroma 1 case. So, you know, we're gonna get a knife from this one easily. <sighs> Clock. Alright, I'm gonna do some trade ups and uh, probably record like a pink trade up. Maybe if any of the blue trade ups get us like some godly 5.7, I'll put that in the video. But otherwise, I'll cut out all the boring trade ups and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, well, I just got a 5.7 K starting that doesn't look too bad from. Uh, a trade up where we had a really, really low chance to get one. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got the tip blue in right here, but very nice luck on that. Alright, now we have a full set for a trade up. So I don't have to use my super expensive blue gym. And, uh, yeah, so what, we, what can we get from this? The best thing would probably be a golden coil. Um, Chatterbox would be bad. M4 Windows Hyper Beast would be pretty decent, even though it went down in price. Let's get a little X out right here. Hopefully, I want to make sure I can't see this to not spoil it. Alright, I think it's good at this point. And, uh, yeah. Let's not get screwed here. Not Mana War. Alright, it could have been worse. But that's still pretty bad. <laughs> this skin just drops in price every day. It's at uh, 12 bucks right now. All right, it's kind of stabilized. It used to be 100 bucks when it first came out. It's gone all the way down to like 10 and 11 bucks now. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got from it. from this. We got this skin, this skin, this skin, this skin, and uh, this 5.7. This 5.7 is not. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh yeah, we got two five sevens actually. Two five sevens. We got the stat track P90 Cold Blooded Up Metamor. F1S Golden Coil. Let's see. This is probably like a hundred dollars in skins, and it costs like over three hundred and fifty bucks, I think, for all these cases. So this definitely wasn't worth it. But uh, thanks to CSGO Big for sponsoring this video and hooking me up with a lot of the skins for this. So shout out to them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. And I'm Mick Skillet, and I'm out.